What is your commander's color identity? How do you know what your commander's color identity is? Is it solely based on the mana cost? Or is its picture colors? Well, what is it? Well, let's look at rule 903.4. The commander variant uses color identity to determine what cards can be in a deck with a certain commander. The color identity of a card is the color of any mana symbols in that card's mana cost or rules text. So for example, Bosch Iron Golem is a legendary artifact creature with mana cost generic eight and the ability three red second artifact and then it deals damage equal to that artifact's mana value to any target. Bosch's color identity is therefore red. So we now know that Tassiger, Golden Fan, is blue, black, and green. Kenosos, Priest of Thassa, is Simic, and that Najila, the Blade Blossom, is five color. Well, I hope that explains color identity for you. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. What about a card's rules text? Well, let's jump over to rule 207. This talks about a card's text box. The text box may also contain italicized text that has no game function. 207.2a says reminder text is italicized text within parentheses that summarizes a rule that applies to that card. It usually appears on the same line as the ability it's relevant to, but it may also appear on its own line if it appears on an aspect of the card other than an ability. So those cards you have with extort can indeed be placed in monocolored decks or decks that have different colors. Say I stuck Pontiff of Blight in my Sidisi Brood Tyrant deck. Sidisi doesn't have white in her color identity, so I can't use the white to activate extort, but it's still something I could do because it's just pointed out in rules text. To make this easier, just pretend like the card looks like this. This is also the case with cards like Charmed Pendant with rules explaining the card. Oh, and one last thing, cards like Mad Ratter or Lovestruck Beast who make tokens of a different color, uh, those don't actually matter. The color symbol is not represented on the card, so these can go in monocolored decks. They just so happen to make different colored tokens, if that makes sense. I hope this helps you figure out your commander's color identity. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell button so you don't miss your weekly dose of magic.